Hey YouTube, it's Grace, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how I made the Minecraft Skull on Fire painting. Which, if you're wondering, yes, is the exact same thing I have on my chalkboard, but this one turned out way better because my chalk pens didn't run out. <laughs> Anyways, I worked on this for pretty much four days straight, nonstop. Due to some issues with my wrist, I tried to use my other hand, but I ended up giving up about halfway through because it just took so much mental effort. But we're fine. We did it. We survived. <laughs> also, if you would like a more in-depth tutorial for how to make a Minecraft painting, um, I actually have a video. I forget which side, but I will link it up there somewhere. But anyways, let's get into this one. This is the painting I want to make, and this is the canvas I have. The painting is 64 by 64 pixels and my canvas is 20 by 20 inches. So to determine the size of each pixel, I take 20 inches divided by 64 pixels and I get about 0.3 inches. So first, let's make the grid. Now that I have all of the lines marked out, it is time to connect them with a very long straight edge. The next step is primer, which just seals in the grid and keeps the pencil from smearing. Now that this is dry, I'm going to paint a one pixel layer of brown across the outside as sort of like a border. I just finished the border and I think I might be secretly ambidextrous because I did half of this with my right hand and half with my left and um, didn't know I could do that till now. I'm definitely more left-handed but I'm kind of dealing with some issues right now. I, I'm, I'm actually really shocked that this actually looks decent. Anyways, next I'm going to block out this like black area here and then we'll go from there. Next, I will be filling in the darkest green under it and sort of like integrated with the black. This is how we're looking so far. It's a little bit messy, but it's just the first coat, so it's not a big deal. Next, I'm going to be blocking out the darkest blues around the outside. Kind of messed up a little, um, <laughs> but I finished the dark blue and now I'm going to start mapping out the reds. The first coat of red, orange, and yellow is finished. Ignore this spot here. I am having a lot of trouble focusing on this, so it's looking... Yeah, not great. I added another coat of the dark blue so that looks a lot better and I added another coat of the green so this is where we're at so far. I'm going to fill in a bunch of the whites now kind of in the moon and then around the fire in the skull. I'm just starting to block in the light greens at the bottom of the painting here. I'm not focused too much on the details yet since it is just the first coat, just kind of getting the rough idea down. Okay, I have all of the background done, so now I get to do the skull. And the first step for that, I'm just going to start by filling out all of the gray sort of outline areas. Now I'm going to fill in this top part here with an off-white and honestly I didn't know how to make off-white until just now I kind of just winged it. I mixed white with just a little bit of orange and a little bit of gray and it actually turned out pretty good. This is where I'm stopping at the end of day one. Honestly I'm really surprised that I got this far especially with my wrist being stupid um, but I'm pretty happy with this so far. The proportions of the face are looking kind of funky but I'm gonna fix that later on when I add more details. All right it's now the next day. Off camera I painted another layer on the border just because it was really thin but other than that everything is the same. For the second coat I'm going to keep all the colors the same for this part here but just add another layer and try to clean up my lines a little bit. This is how it looks after the second coat. I think it looks a lot better because the paint is thicker, the lines are cleaner and overall just looks a lot more like the reference. I think next I'm going to move up here and blend in these colors a whole bunch in the background. I 
think the red, orange, and yellow still need another coat just because they're not quite as vibrant as I want them to be. I think it'll still eventually need another coat, but for now it looks a lot better. So I'm going to switch and start doing all of the dark grays around the outside and overall just clean up my lines because this does not look good. <laughs> After going over the dark grays and the blacks again, I feel like the lines look a lot cleaner and now I just need to go in and fill sort of like the lighter grays and I want to fix the off-white because I don't really like it anymore. <laughs> just realized I haven't blended the top right corner yet, so that is next on my to-do list. This looks way better now, but I did realize before I blend it any more that I'm going to need to add another coat of the dark blue just because the paint still is thin in a couple spots. While I was painting the darkest shade of blue, I also realized that the dark green needs another layer just because it's also still kind of thin. This is how the dark green looks after another coat. It looks way better. And then off camera, I also did another coat of the red, orange, and yellow. I just didn't film it because I thought it'd be kind of boring. But now I'm going to do one more layer of the kind of yellowish green because that is also thin in some spots but we're getting pretty close to done other than just details. And the last thing I'll be doing today is just another coat around the border to kind of clean up the lines because they weren't the best. I kind of overlapped there. Um, but yeah, after that I'm just going to let everything dry and then finish up with details tomorrow. It is now the next day. This is how everything's looking. All the lines are a lot cleaner. And the last thing I have to do is details. So I'm going to start by mixing these two colors together to make something in between and then just adding a lot of kind of random placed pixels to make it look more pixely. This is the pixelating process done with the lightest greens. And so basically I'm going to be doing this with all of the background. So next I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna mix a color between the dark green and the black and just blend them both out. It's kind of a weird glare from my light, so you can't see it super well on camera, but this is the blending done so far. Next I'll be doing like the dark blues in the background and just mixing a color I think either slightly darker or slightly lighter to pixelate that. This is the sky now. You can't see it super well on camera. It's more obvious in person, but the background is looking a lot better. Um, I also added this super light gray here to try and blend out between the two other lightest grays. And now I'm going to blend out just a little bit more in this corner. This did not take very long, um, but I also decided to sort of redo the moon. I just made the colors a bit lighter and also did the same kind of pixelating technique where I just mixed a color a little bit lighter and made everything blend out a little bit more. All that I really want to do next is take these like gray shades and add some pixelating throughout there. And after that, I think we'll pretty much be done. And here it is, completely done. Kind of have to hold it at a weird angle because, you know, ring light moment. But I really, really like how this turned out. I'm really proud of it, especially since I was trying to do half of it with my non-dominant hand. And another thing, I'm actually not going to be selling this painting. I'm going to be sending it to a very popular Minecraft content creator. I um, am hoping that they at least somehow notice it because I think that'd be really cool. I'm not gonna be saying who, just because I feel like I would definitely jinx it. But this content creator helped me through a lot of very boring times during like the first lockdown 
and I really enjoyed the content so I figured this would be kind of like a thank you gift of some sorts. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, if you have any questions or suggestions for other paintings, leave them down in the comments below and I will definitely take the time to read them. But that concludes this video, so thank you for watching and I will hopefully see you in my next one. Bye!